Welcome to the Wrestling with Success podcast. In this show, you'll learn how to use lessons used in sports so you can use failure as your secret weapon for success and succeed in the real world. Here's your host, former Division I All-American wrestler, former Division I head coach, husband, father, adventure seeker, and entrepreneur, Jim Harshaw. Welcome to another episode of Sudden Success. This is your host, Jim Harshaw. I am driving in my car right now, and I've been doing a bunch of these episodes lately driving in my car, and I've been doing something called periscopes lately in my car. Probably not the safest thing. It's probably breaking a law somewhere, but um, but nevertheless, I've been doing these periscopes. So periscope is, if you don't know what it is, it's a live video platform. Uh, it started and then got bought by Twitter. So if you have a Twitter account, you can pretty easily create a Periscope account. But anyway, you can just, just click a button and, and boom, you're, you're video broadcasting to the world from anywhere. And I've been doing these Periscopes, just sort of using them similar to how I use these Sudden Success episodes where if I've got something on my mind, I've got something on my heart, I can share it quickly and easily through Periscope. And I've actually kind of cool because I save that video automatically automatically gets saved to my phone and then I can post it to Facebook I can post it to YouTube it's pretty cool pretty cool so anyway if you're into that kind of thing if you're following me on Twitter wrestle success then you will get notified whenever I'm posting a uh, doing a live periscope so anyway the one that I shared just here uh, actually a few minutes ago as of when I'm recording this um was was really interesting and it's 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 something that's going to help you get to where you want to go. It's going to help you take that first step. And it's it's about taking that thing that's that's nebulous, that's abstract, that you're not sure how you can actually pull off and helping you do it, helping you get started. It's the same thing that I used whenever I I graduated from the University of Virginia in 1999 and a friend of mine, he was a on the soccer team. He's actually a four-time national championship soccer player. Very few guys have four national championship rings. He's got four. It's kind of crazy, right? But after I graduated, I got offered the uh, the assistant coaching job at the Naval Academy, and I thought to myself, I can either do that or I can go on some grand adventure. I've been locked into wrestling for so many years. I'm looking for something new. I decided to catch up to my buddy who was on his own, his own grand adventure uh, down in Guatemala. And so what I did was something that was abstract. It's like, I want to go on a grand adventure through Central America. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know how this works, but I'm just going to do it. So I went home after I graduated, painted houses for like three months, lived with, lived with my mom and dad, packed up a backpack and headed south. I I got a plane ticket, one-way plane ticket to Texas, got to the border, took a cab across the border into Mexico, and I had like three months, an open-ended ticket, and nowhere to be. Nowhere to be. Not not a single thing on my agenda for three months. And I had money in the bank and and a backpack on my back. And it was scary. It's like, what what now? You know, I crossed the border, I got to this sketchy, sketchy little hotel, didn't have a lock on the door. So I had a, uh, one of the little, little travel hacks that I learned was to keep a rubber doorstop with you anywhere you go. And so I jammed that rubber doorstop in so I didn't get broken, my room didn't get broken into. And uh, I was in this little border town and uh, right across from Brownsville, Texas. Can't, can't even think of the name of the border town right now. Killing me. But, um, but it was, I, I, I took action, right? And, and that, how did, I, how did I get that far? How did I do the things that needed to happen to get me to a border town with a backpack on my back, money in the bank, and three months of just wide open time. And I share a little bit about the concept of how you make awesome things happen, how you make abstract things that are in your head, that are desires and hopes and wishes and aspirations, and how you make them come real. I share that in this periscope that I turned into an audio so when you're hearing me talking about this being a video, that's what I'm referring to. But I hope you... This bad boy around. 
Hey everybody, this is Jim Harshaw. I am on the road right now, and uh, I like to do these periscopes when I'm driving. It fits into my day that way. Um, I'm going t-shirt style here. I just left a social event, and I was sweating like crazy. Stripped my shirt off, threw it in the back seat. Now i got a couple hour drive home. So, got into my car, and I saw a text message there from the one and only Charlie the Spaniard Brenneman, UFC veteran, good friend of mine, just launched his podcast called A Fighter's Mindset. It's going to be an awesome podcast. I got to pre-listen to a couple of the episodes a week or so ago, and it's just awesome. It's just real, genuine stuff. I love kind of his concept and um, of, of, of just how he structures it. It's very real, very authentic, very genuine sharing topics and concepts of how he got to become one of the top uh, fighters in the world, top at what he did and, and top at what, at anything that you do in the world. And it's called A Fighter's Mindset. Uh, of course, the best podcast out there is Wrestling With Success, which is my podcast, Wrestling With Success. You can find that on iTunes as well. But the text message said this, and this is coming from one of the top highest performers in the world. So this tells you that we constantly need reminded and coached and encouraged and we need to have the right people around us so we can succeed and his his text message said this and I said congratulations on launching your podcast it's a pretty big deal to get a podcast out the door I mean it's a lot of work it's a lot of uncertainty <clears throat> and he said now that it's launched a lot of these and this is this is the core of core of what I want to talk to you about today a lot of these abstract things that he and I had been talking about, about how to set up a podcast, how to get it on iTunes, how to create the artwork, where do you put the description, at, how do you tag it, and all these different things you got to do. He said all those abstract things became concrete. They became real finally. And that's it. How did he take the abstract this, how do you do this thing? You know, how do you create a podcast? Like, how do you do that, right? If you've never done it, it's a totally abstract thing, right? But he took these abstract things and he just put one foot in front of the other and he made it happen. And the exact same thing happened in his MMA career, his fighting career. He didn't know how to, he, he told his friend one day, I'm gonna fight in the UFC. He didn't know how he was gonna do it. He had no idea, he had no fighting experience. And he said, I'm going to get to the UFC. And guess what? He got to the UFC. I mean, it's crazy, right? He, just got, he didn't just get to the UFC. He fought there, I think, 11 times, right? He won a bunch of his fights there. He had no idea how he was going to do it. But how did he do it? He put one foot in front of the other. He took action. You can't stop. I've said this many times on my podcast. You can't stumble into something unless you're taking action. And man, he's been taking action. These abstract concepts become concrete when you're taking action. I'm sorry if I'm not looking at it. I'm driving right now. So I got to look at the road. Um, but these abstract concepts become concrete. And so think about it in your life, right? Maybe you're thinking about um, running a marathon. Maybe you want to go on a diet. Maybe you want to get a promotion. Maybe you want to start a business. Maybe you want to learn how to coach your kids' youth football or wrestling team and, and you don't know anything about the sport or how to coach them. Take action. Do the one thing. The one thing. That one thing is take the first step. Any step. The first step. Whatever it is. If you don't know what it is, figure it out. Google it. If you don't, still don't know, just take the step. Make the phone call. Send the email. Open up the Word document. Um, call the, the city or the town or wherever you live in the county and ask them, how do I get a business license? Um, look up how to coach youth football. How to coach youth wrestling. Whatever it is. Whatever you want to do. Do that one thing. That one thing. And I'm going to share, I, this is on Periscope right now, I'm going to post this on Facebook, I'm going to post it on Twitter, it's going to Twitter live right now, um, I'm going to post this all, I'm going to post it on YouTube, put in your comment, in the comments below, what your action is, what's the one thing, I want to hear from you, and I, I, I got a handful of people on the, on, the, on the video right now, if you know that one thing, post it, make a comment, and actually I haven't been seeing my like, comments lately, so if you're there, if you make it, just say hello, actually. Let's see if these comments are working. I'm not seeing any come through. But I would love to hear from you. Just tell me what's that one thing, the single thing that you need to do, that first step, that first step you need to do 
to take action and to make things real. I actually signed up for a course, a paid program. It was 300 bucks, not very expensive, and it's basically a coaching program and um, to help me get clarity and take action on the right things. Man, the first, first part of the course was about taking action, and guess why? I, I got so clear on what I needed to do. I just took action. So I took action by opening up my wallet and paying, and I got, took action by um, you know, re going through this first lesson, actually you know, executing. So love to hear from you, whether you're watching this on Periscope or Twitter or Facebook or YouTube or my website. Leave a comment. I'm going to check it out. Love to hear from you. Take action. And uh, if you want more tips, tactics, um, promo, actually, let me tell you about one of my, uh, my best, my most, most favorite um, um, downloads that I can offer you is how to get and stay focused, 18 ways to get and stay focused. Uh, it's productivity hacks, 18 different tips to get and stay focused at work. Go to jimharshawjr.com. Actually, punch your name in anywhere. It doesn't matter. Uh, it takes you out of the same page. You're going to have tons and tons of resources. But one of them is 18 ways to get and stay focused at work. I guarantee you, you're going to gain two hours back in your work day. Awesome. Love it. Share this. Comment. Hope to connect with you soon. Thanks for watching.